It's always a good idea to see if uh, the leftovers are fitting somewhere so you can use them instead of it getting to waste. You have paid for it after all. Um, the advantages by, um, by making the model uh, one to one like this and then mark where um, the fabric is, uh, is going to be connected is that even um, true I actually just barely can make the, the model lying on the floor here then I actually don't need the whole uh, piece to be laid out I just need uh, that uh, particular place where um, I'm measuring up the fabric piece and uh, idea I would be outside or, um, or under a half roof or what would say, yeah. it's like a roof but there's no wall around it uh, and, and just laid out and I will have to do that when I need to make the final cut around the, the panel but right now it's a, a little rainy and um, of course the fabric is um, Water resistance it have to because of course it's going to go on a boat, but uh, I will prefer when I'm working with it that it's not a too wet. Um, so I um, I do the measuring here and then I hope during the day that the weather is going to be a little better, so that I can um, <clears throat> so that I can cut the fabric uh, the panel so they got the the final shape. As it is right now, all the panel for the main sail is um, is being uh, sewing uh, or stitched together, and um, all the parallel for the foresail is being um, uh, stitched together. So now I only need the three at the top, and uh, the two at at the top is going to be almost like this. It's not hundred percent, but. Uh, just for cutting the fabric and and put it together, this is gonna be fine. And um, in, this is actually the model for the main sail, but the shape of the sail is the same. It's only the uh, the uh, the length uh, length of the sail or the cord or what we would call it, the, the distance from the front to the back. That's different, and of course the depth. But um, the parallel. Um, for them I have make another model but at the top it's actually just the same and then it's a little less uh, curvy uh, and that I can do when I have cut the fabric there's no reason for making a new model for that so I just reuse this one and then I just need to go uh, instead of five and a half uh, pieces of fabric I just go four pieces of fabric out and then it's gonna it's gonna fit so yes I will do the rest. I was lucky that I had one piece I could use. I need two panels that's almost identical um, and um, they're a good idea by cutting both the piece of fabric that's the number one you can see they are um, they are marked like this and that is because when they are lying in a big um, when they're being put aside then um, I know that I start with number one uh, that is the one at the front of the seat or um, and um, then I go out and uh, if you do it like this and I work on the on the model then I know that everything fit I just have to um, stay to uh, to the mark and I have to find number one and number two and so on and so on and so on and um, 
That way I have less waste because um, I have reused the one of the cuts that um, I was doing uh, because uh, it might change as you we go out of um, out on the sail. So uh, on on the big one it was like cutting five uh, actually seven pieces um, at the time and. Um, and um, because at the bottom it was almost straight or just a little curvy and the top it was more curvy, then um, I just have to turn the fabric around and then I could reuse one of the cuts. So there was no waste on, in that process. The, the waste come later because actually this, this mark is at this, the side of the model, but on the model I have been uh, calculating five centimeters, two inches uh, for for stitching and then actually some um, two inches for um, uh, for if I miss up by by um, sewing it together so that I can uh, I still are uh, inside of the panel so to say it's it's actually so that it's <coughs> when you are not are making um, the the final cut that means that you're working um, it has to go fast so you uh, instead of just make it uh, exactly correctly and then put it together and then if you just have moved a little bit then it's wrong then you can throw everything away or you can try to save it but instead then you just accept that you have a little more waste because you go faster and um, then you just put your model uh, on top of your your uh, finished panel and then you can uh, draw it and then you're gonna have those uh, yeah it's gonna it's gonna be four inches of waste or something like that uh, in top uh, and bottom put together but the, um, that is the price you have to pay for uh, getting the panel at the exact, exact size that you want so um, that's just how it is. So I gonna end up with some waste and I'm fine with that basically. Okay, uh, I have to cut the other pieces. <clears throat> There's barely enough room on, on the floor actually. It, it would have been easier to to mark and cut them outside, but uh, it will do. Otherwise, we'll have to begin a, a bigger scout hut. <laughs> so um, I just take I mark it and I just take it up on the table and, and cut it there. So 